if we take it on a deeper level, I know that I am divinity, but I don't know what that is. You are divinity. Everyone here, this is divin there's only divinity, but we don't know what that is. And what happens is that these units, these, these patterns, swirl around and they get to thinking, I should know. And I'm going to find out. And there goes a lifetime as a seeker spinning around. And what is chasing this awareness, as it may call it? Well, uh, the only thing there is that you can chase something with, that you can find something with, is your attention. <clears throat> and the problem with attention chasing awareness is that attention is awareness. It's focused awareness. So <clears throat> the dog is chasing its tail. And you would think that that could, would be seen early on or fairly early on or after five years or whatever, but it doesn't seem to have, there's no date on it. Uh, we don't have to search. To set off on a search is to leave the truth in search of it. You can't really leave it, but, in, but intellectually, you're leaving the truth in order to discover what's about it. Because if we can discover the truth, then I can talk about it, I can write about it, I can be famous for it, I can do whatever, and uh, people will flock, you know, and I just, there's no teacher that can tell you the truth. Because in spirituality, we open ourselves up to a certain vulnerability, and this will usually play itself out in, in sex or money, just like it does in, rel just like it does in relativity, because this is a play that's actually taking place within relativity. So <clears throat> it's always, what can I get from this? And that is not awakeness. Awakeness is not, this doesn't need anything. Awakeness is all about um, offering the space for, for everything. Equal space for everything. It doesn't have preferences. It doesn't have stories. It just is. <clears throat>